if you have a growth strategy as we do in the CRD that says we're going to put people here, because why wouldn't you want to live on Vancouver Island? I mean, it's mm -hmm. among the most uh, extraordinary places on the planet, so people are coming here, and you need to house them. And that's not at the expense of those who came before yeah. the new wealth arrived. But when one municipality starts making decisions that maybe puts pressure on affordability and effectively is pushing people out who are no longer able to afford to live in that area, that impacts directly on one or two of your neighboring municipalities. It's insane, like this is our home and this is where we've lived and it's worth something. We just worked so hard to get where we are now and to have it all taken away just like that. It's hard to have to just build everything back up again. It's about 16 families losing their homes. Simple. If you don't make any noise, you shouldn't expect anything. If you're willing to make noise, eventually somebody has to listen. Because that's really the bottom line here. This is affordable housing and they're going to take that away from us. So what are we left with? If they ask me straight out, do you think this is a good investment? And I have to tell them, no, not under the current legislation. Affordable housing became, I guess, the, uh, the sacrifice to development. Uh, smaller homes, more affordable homes were torn down, more expensive homes were built up. Again, it's critical that people write letters to the editors or try to speak out or uh, organize events where citizens come together. Mm -hmm.